I thank you, sir. Next speaker is Association Internationale pour l'Egalité des Femmes. You have the floor. Thank you, Mr. President. The AIEF welcomes the condemnation by the High Commissioner of the practice in Iran of executing individuals for crimes committed when they were children. Iran also conducts public executions which children are allowed to attend despite the enormous trauma caused by witnessing such acts. Iran also imprisons women along with sm their small children who grew up behind, grow up behind prison walls. Iranian authorities also sanction marriages between girls as young as nine and much older men, thereby legalizing pedophilia. These violations of the rights of children makes a mockery of Iran's international commitments and speaks volumes about the overall state of human rights in the country. AIEF also welcomes the High Commissioner's condemnation of the violence and repression directed at those who protest widespread corruption human rights abuses, economic grievances, and the Iranian government's brutal involvement in foreign conflicts. The High Commissioner is right to point out that while the Iranian and human rights abuses in Iran are numerous, the right to assembly and to opinion are crucial. There will never be any progress in Iran as long as peaceful dissident is met only with violence. The killings just during 2018 of at least 14 protesters in custody following torture by Iranian authorities must serve as a wake-up call to the international community and this council. Iran insults our collective intelligence by claiming that all these prisoners committed suicide within the span of a few weeks. AIEF calls on all member states and UN mechanisms to shine a light on the recurring pattern of large-scale extrajudicial killings in the prisons of Iran. Perhaps international attention can help prevent another atrocity like the wave of executions in 1988. Thank you.